Hello everyone, my name is Saksham Dikshit and this is my channel Pentest Diaries. So today I will give you a walkthrough of one of the machine of One Hub. And this machine is published by One Hub on 21st September 2021. And the name of the machine is Corrigion 2. Uh, in this video, I'll try to cover a number of stuffs just to get it. It looks like a medium type of machine and uh, multiple hop count we have to cover up so that we'll reach the final root flag itself. So let me go to the system now to get it solved this machine. So before proceeding further in this video, so first of all, we just have to see like uh, this machine we are just trying to get it solved. It's a cohesion. Okay. And um, this machine is getting uh, published by one hub on 21st September 2021 and from here on from this URL itself you can download the OVA file and which you have to get it inputted on your VMware now this is my technical blog where you can get all the uh, write-ups and everything okay and this is my technical channel uh, where you can get all the details all the walk through everything with whatever the things I have published it so far okay now we'll go to the machine and solve this so first thing uh, we have to find, we just have to identify the IP address first. So this command we have to get it fired. We'll wait for the output to identify the IP address of the target machine. I forget to tell you like uh, you have to download it from that link and then you have to mount it on a VMware. And then once you get it configured, make sure that you have to put it a uh, NIC card in a net format so that you can able to discover the IP address of the target machine. Okay, so I can get the IP address is 192.168.8.136. Now, uh, let me run the nmap command just to get the appropriate ports. So it's 136 and wait for the output. So I can see the output over here itself, it's port 22, port 80 and port 8080 on a target machine. So what's the next thing we can do it over here, we'll try to get it access directly on browser with port 80. So let me directly be open this IP address, it's 192.168.8.136. So I can able to see Apache over here, okay. So what exactly we can get it on port 8080, let me try to get it access that also. So over here I can see it's a default pages we can able to get it of Apache. Okay, so now I'll run the dub just to identify is there any subsections for it or not. So let me run the dub. So we can able to see this is the backup zip file. Okay, so what exactly we have to do it with that? We'll simply have to download this file. So let me go to let me clear this section and I'll click on this. Let me download it. It's downloaded. Unzip backup. So it's required the password. So to crack the password, uh, we simply have to run fcrack zip. By that way, we can able to get the password of it. So we'll run with a word list rock you. Let me wait for it and we can get the password. Now, uh, we'll unzip it, copy the password, which we're getting it by this way. Let me paste it and I can able to extract it. So I think it's for all. So it's done. Now all the file is visible to us. Okay, perfect. So now what exactly we're looking for it? We'll just open the Tomcat uh, user file. And by this way, we can get the password of one of the user. So this password is for the admin also. So what we'll do? Uh, let me go to the MSF console now. I'll use the same password. Okay. So over here, uh, we imported the package. Then we'll try to proceed further for the meta session for it. So once the MSF is open, now we'll just go ahead further with that Tomcat MGR upload section. Uh, let me set the target as one three six. Okay. Now we'll set the port is 8080 which is running on it tomcat is running on 8080 port uh, whatever that username and the password we are getting it so we are using it for the admin 
so let me put this and the password which we're getting it from the tomcat user file we'll put that password also and now i'll run the exploit we'll wait for the output we'll get the metapata shell okay no no i'm not getting it no i'm not getting it let me run it once again i get that okay so we get the shell now we'll run with the shell cd home will go then what are the folders jr is one of the users over here we'll go inside of it uh then again i'll try to see oh no i don't have any permission for it so let me run with ju su j and the password uh, which we are using it for the admin i'll try to use it uh, for the je also and i think uh, it will work for us and let me check yeah i'll be a je now so now proceed further with that uh, tty one liner we have to run in it so that we can able to see the shell appropriately yeah we can able to see it now now i'll go inside of the je uh i think i'm already inside of the j okay uh now let me check is there any file yeah there is a file files mm, okay the looks is over here itself so we can use this one now i'll use this one to fetch out the shadow and i can able to see the hashes also okay i'll i'm utilizing the hash of randy only so uh, let me open another term and the section for the tab for it uh, let me check the hash value it's randy okay perfect so what i'll do i'll simply run this with john the ripper okay so it take a lot of time to crack this so i'm aware about the password i did that earlier so that was the reason i'm aware about the password for it so i'll use the same password uh so let me log in with randy and i'll put the password which i've already cracked it okay so let me put the password and i'll put it and i think I'm, i'll be a randy now okay perfect so once i run with sudo hyphen l i'll record the password once again i'll put that password and i can able to see this okay perfect so now what we'll do we'll try to see this content of the file so i can able to see the content of this file okay this is the content uh let me locate base 64 so i can able to see base 64 content also and there is one of the file uh let me see the file yeah so this file i'm talking about so this file will try to see the content i have already modified it from my side so normally when you have to open this file you have to open it with a nano so that i have already edited this file so that was why i am not opening with a nano but you have to open with a nano and you have to put these two lines okay once you done with that just save this file okay once you done with that you simply have to run this command okay you simply have to go back and click on it it required the password uh, i think i have already put it there was it's not asking and i'll be a root now i'll go to the root folder and i will try to access root.txt i think i can be able to perfect so what exactly we have to do to get it solve this machine i'll just give you a summary of one of this machine once again so i think it started with nmap we have just came to know like port 22 port 80 and 80 are the port is enabled on target machine we'll start with port 80 then we'll try to get access with port 8080 uh then proceed further with that uh, we run the dog then by that way we can came to know about the backup of the zip file then we'll try to get it downloaded we cracked it with fcrack zip
uh, once we have extracted uh, we just came to know what tomcat user file we'll try to see that we use the, uh, we get the username and the password over there we'll utilize the same username password using the msf console we'll get the metapeter shell uh, then we'll uh, like uh, go to the shell section then proceeding further with that we just came to know like j is one of the user over there we'll try to switch over to the j and put it the same password which we're getting it from the tomcat user file uh, once we go inside of it then um, then after that uh, we'll just go inside of the j folder and we came to know like there is a file folder is inside of it we go inside of it it's a look file using the look we can able to fetch the content of the shadow file uh, you, mm, we just copied the hash file hash content of our randy and we'll crack it once we cracked it uh, we'll try to get it ssh with that credential for the randy and uh, once we go inside of it we'll run with that um, uh, we'll go uh, we'll just try to run a sudo hyphen l by that way we just came to know what there is a file of base 64 uh, we'll try to see the content of it then try to modify the content of it uh, with our required stuffs and once we save it and run it once again will be our root we go to the root folder we can able to fetch the content of root.txt file that's the final flag which you want to get it achieved thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel if you like to connect me you can connect me directly on linkedin the linkedin profile link i'll provide in the description section of this video and even if you provide of your feedback you can provide your feedback in the comment section of this video so thank you so much once again take care bye bye